In multiple objects, branching creates segments to hide overlaps under objects that are to be stitched later, and repaths the stitches, then creates a grouped object with a single start and end point. The first shape in this logo is here, followed by the bottom stroke, followed by the bottom arch. Then the top arch, you can see there are long jump stitches between each object, creating unnecessary trims. Here, here and here. Notice there is no underlay in any of the objects. You can also see where the objects overlap, the whole design would look better if, where the objects intersect, the overlapping pieces were hidden. The branching tool can be activated in the Arrange toolbar, under the Arrange menu, or by using the keyboard shortcut letter I. Select all the objects you wish to branch. Then select the branching tool. Notice in the prompt bar, you will be prompted for an entry point. Click where you wish the stitching to start, and then again where you want it to end. Immediately you will see the overlapped objects have been hidden. A slow redraw will show the path that the stitching takes. Travel runs are created to accommodate the new segments. Notice that the overlap segments are now resequenced to be covered by the stitching that comes later. The start and end points can be moved to suit your design and the stitch path will be recalculated. Branching outline or run stitches is exactly the same process with a minor difference in the result. Because the travel runs created cannot be hidden, as with the satin stitch in the double H design, if the start and end points are at different locations, then some parts of the design will have three passes of the stitching. If you want two runs everywhere, then the start and end points will need to be in the same location.